Ladies, you have to find yourself some me time. Some me time. Look, I posted a short the other day talking about finding yourself me time. But let me explain it because someone asked me to explain exactly how I did it. So let me tell you this. Every morning, and I mean every morning, I try to get up early because, see, I'm an early bird. I'm not the type of person that I'm, I always have been that early bird. <laughs> I guess it must be the military in me. But anyway, um, I get up early in the morning before everyone else gets up because I know the moment they get up, I won't be able to get too much done, you know, as far as focused things, focused work, uh, focusing on my Bible study, focusing on anything. So what I usually do is turn on my DAB Bible app on my phone. Every day they read the Bible, you know, they go, they can go, they, I listen to the chronological order. You can listen to it in any order you would like. Um, and I'm, they're doing each book, you know, from <coughs> in chronological order. And um, every day, every single morning. No, I'm not going to sit here and say I have a catch every morning. I do miss some, but I always catch up because I hate to miss it. But I have it um, that I like to listen. That's the first thing I do. I turn that on. And as I'm listening to that, I'm opening up my curtains. I'm getting my, my coffee ready. I'm doing my stretches. I'm doing something as I'm listening to that. And then if I do happen to, uh, if it's my Bible study day for that week, I'm using one of my, um, I either just go through the Bible and just read, you know, chapter, chapter, chapter to chapter. In a particular book or i might do use something like this one of these studies this is a k author 40 minute study and i like this because it's it's very deep and detailed or you can do it in 40 minutes in less than an hour but um but it's you still feel like you, you've been fed i can't stand surface bible studies i'm just not that type of person that doesn't feed me i need substance when i study i can't just do um like fast food studying <laughs> and um if i'm not doing that one that type of study I'm doing one like this by John MacArthur. And if you know anything about John MacArthur, you know he goes pretty deep. Um, I'm holding this mic because I couldn't find my lapel pin. <laughs> so that, if you're wondering why I'm holding it, that's why. Anyway, so that is just one of the things, um, two of the things that I do to get me some me time. And another thing I do is I have taught my kids that when I need a break, I need a break. And they won't have to give it to me or I'm not going to, I can't, it's, I'm not happy. In order for me to focus, to center and re- um, refocus my mind and my spirit I have to have some time alone and that's very hard to do when you have children you homeschool your husband is retired and you're home by yourself it is hard to do but you can do it it's not impossible so like I said I insist upon that time it doesn't matter whatever time of day I need it during the day if I need to drive and go get me some coffee if I need to and you know go meet a girlfriend somewhere and have a cup of coffee and sit there and just talk just to let out just to to uh, decompress, that's what I do. Or um, I'll go in my room, shut the door, and get me a book, and let me and sit there and just read. Or one of the things I do most days is if I have to cook or anything that I have to do, I just don't. Well, I don't really need to think. Hey, I put on my headphones and I listen to a book on my um, Audible. I listen to my Audible books because that gives me time to just listen and work on me because I want to learn. I want to know new things, and I can't do that. If they don't give me time and they know that they know that I'm always um, I'm a person that believe in learning and I want others to learn and but I don't want to be left behind so I have to renew my mind in, in spiritual things in uh, technology in what's going on in the world I want to renew my mind so that's what I do I, I listen to my books or I'm learning something some new software on a computer Shoot, I'm, as I'm uh, creating content for my social media accounts I'm learning I don't have I don't have a team behind me everything that you see I'm doing it myself I have had one or two videos edited by someone else but for the most part I'm doing everything so it just takes consistency persistence and commitment if you want to do these things that's and and I always use those three words in everything even when I'm talking about homeschooling because without that I wouldn't be able to do half of the stuff that I do because you just have to have a made-up mind that these things are important to you your your mind your self-care and your yourself you have to make a decision that is important to you and it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks how they feel and you know what believe me I do have times where I have like guilt mom guilt like oh maybe I should go in there and sit with them and talk while I'm doing you know instead of sitting in here but most of the time I had, I've just had already spent hours with them talking, cooking breakfast or whatever, or doing school books. So I kind of think that, that those kind of thoughts come from the evil one who doesn't want us to be happy or centered with our family. He wants us to feel like we're bogged down and that we can't do anything because to have 
dis dissension in the family, especially coming from mom, because you know we carry a lot of weight when it <laughs> when it comes to the family. So if we if he can get us to be like that, then our whole household is upset. And you know I'm telling the truth when it comes from the mom's side, because you know when I get to the point where I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to talk to anybody. I can just feel a whole um, this whole thickness of just unsettledness around me, and so that's when I know I have I haven't had enough me time. So. Like I said, when I get up in the morning, Lord willing, I listen to his word or I do a Bible study. In some way, I'm getting his word into my mind so that I can start off right then. I'm, I use the rest of that morning time that I'm alone to work on something on my, one of my business, businesses because that's another way of me. I feel like I'm doing something to build myself up, to learn. And then during the day when I have to do something that I don't, have, that I don't need to really think hard about, I'm listening to some sort of book with a new concept. Um, I don't listen, I don't read too many novels. I like um, books that where I can learn something about what's going on in the world or um, some new technology. That's that's what really excites me as a mom <laughs> during the day. Anyway, those are my things that I do to get me time. And I hope that's helped you in some way. If you would like to talk to me in detail, contact me. Click the link below and, you know, fill out. Send me an email. I'm sorry, I'm sitting outside. These bugs are everywhere. You know, fill out the email and make an appointment and we can talk. And if you would like to have some sort of study, I'll put some links down below of the studies that I like. I even have a little devotional that I um, created for that very thing for other ladies that I know. So anyway, but once again, this is Adrian Brown, your homeschool mom of eight. And I hope I've helped you somewhat. Happy homeschooling and happy finding your me time. Okay, bye.